Hello guys, what's up? It's me, your boy, Brian, and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead Season 2. 2, 3, 2. Yeah, let's go. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed kid. you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. Kenny? You okay? Thank you. Yes, yes. I can't believe he's gone. No, Luke, what the fuck? I've lost people before, but... It just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. Mm -hmm. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. Why? I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Yeah, dude. This, you, you sound... Feeling better? You can't take shit anymore. Yeah. More. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. Mm. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. So. Just be careful. Yes. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Mm -hmm. Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Mm -hmm. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Mm -hmm. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. And then up. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right, turn it again. Mm. Did you turn it? Yes. Mm -hmm. God damn it!
We'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Look, I can talk to you. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. Yes, boss. Wish they'd finished this place. Mm hmm. Me too, Clem. Me too. Elaborate. Busted. It's a bus. Want one? No thanks. No thanks. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. <laughs> I liked you from the start. Yes. Kind of you ever done something part. you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do. Oh yeah, killingly. Go on. All the time. Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I think people respect me. Really? I think so. Well, good for you, honey. You this... know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. Mm -hmm. Go inside. Look for EJ. Baby AJ. Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. <laughs> God damn it! Mm -hmm. he be like Kenny? I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <laughs> Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're right, though. You two've known each other a long time. 
Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, hmm. no. <laughs> Hold it like this. Hold it hey. like a baby. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. It, it puked. puked. Gross. Lucky. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. They had to try, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Wow. So the neck right out of this old lady. Oh. The look on her face was she was just staring up at the sky like she was watching a bird. Boo. Look, Clem. He got it working. You got it working. It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. What the fuck is that? We should head back south. What the what? fuck? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man. This is fucking nuts. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We have to bring him with us. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. Mm. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it. God damn it. 
damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. Mm -hmm. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And... To keep my hair short. <laughs> we can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know... When I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I, I felt pride, mm -hmm. a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Oh, damn. Let's convince, Look, convince. We'll talk, figure talk. everything out in the morning. There we go. Morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Damn. Don't be perfect. Don't be barking. They're leaving? What the frick? Who's there? What the frick? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What the frick? What are you doing? I got the rest of it. What Clem. the frick? We're just leaving. <sighs> Keep it down, alright? Nobody else has to get involved. Slow down. Let's talk about this, Mike. There's nothing to talk about. Listen. Just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just we don't have time for this. Are you gonna kill just, me now? Just be quiet, Clem, please. Kenny! Jane! Help! They're robbing us! 
There we go. Fuck you guys. No. Glenn, Glenn. Bonnie, we have to go. Don't you touch me. I'm I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean for this to happen. What the frick? Oh my god, Clem. What the fuck did you do? Clem. What did you do? Excuse me, Nani the fuck? Bam! Come in time! Whoa, wait, wait, wait.